Hey guys, what is up? Mackie's Mad Sports here, and today I'll be doing my usual video, my one pack of select 2021 AFL 40 stars, and I'll also be doing my round 15 tips. So let's get straight so, into it. Here we have the packet. So inside we have Ed Kerno, Jordan Degoe, Patrick Dangerfield, James Harms, and for the holographic we have Daniel Rioli, and for the insert card we have an acetate, haven't had one of those in a while, of Caleb Daniel for the Western Bulldogs. We also have to finish off Ben Cunnington, Tom Rockliffe, and Jack Rewalt. So as usual, I'll show you the cards. Ed Kerno, Jordan Degoe, Patrick Dangerfield, James Harms, Ben Cunnington, Tom Rockliffe, Jack Rewalt, for the holographic, Daniel Rioli and Caleb Daniel. Now moving on to my round 15 tips. So my round 15 tips. The first game, Brisbane versus Geelong at the Gabba. I'm going to go with Brisbane here. Geelong have been a good team, beating Poor and then Western Bulldogs the past two weeks. But I think Brisbane at the Gabba, home ground advantage. I think they'll just be a little too strong. I'll go with them by a reasonable margin of about nine points for this type of match. Two top four teams. It's going to be a close match, but I just think Lions will come away with the win. So the next match, Richmond versus St Kilda at the MCG. I'm going to go Richmond. I think they'll have the better quality team and come away with the win. Richmond don't really lose at the MCG, so that's another reason. But, yeah, I just think Richmond, they really lose and I think they'll be strong enough to at least beat St Kilda. So the next match, Collingwood versus Fremantle at Marvel Stadium. I might go with Collingwood here. Even though Fremantle are doing better this year. Um, Collingwood beat Melbourne last week. Um, and I think that's going to be a big factor in this game. But... It's at their home ground, Fremantle. I don't think they'll play as well as they usually do. Um, so, yeah, I just think Collingwood will come away with the win here. So, the next match, North Melbourne versus Gold Coast Suns at Bloodstone Arena. Now, the draw with um, Giants at Bloodstone was good. I think the when they've played at Bloodstone, which they've played a couple of times at Bloodstone this year, that I think they've well they won the one against Hawthorne and drew the one against the Giants. So I think they'll come away with the win against Gold Coast at Bloodstone. Yeah, it's because I just think North Melbourne will have the more experience at that oval. And yeah, that's one of the main reasons why I'm going for them. So the next game, Port versus Swans at Adelaide Oval. Port. I know Sydney have been the, a bit better this year, but I feel like Sydney are starting to drop off a bit, not being as good. But, um, so yeah, that's kind of why I'm going for Port. Um, so yeah. It's at Adelaide Oval as well, so that's going to be a big factor in this, the home ground advantage. But I just think Port will come away with the win by a reasonable 10 to 20 points. So the next game, Essendon versus Melbourne at the MCG. I'm going to go with Melbourne here. I'm just going to say that they're a better team than Essendon. So at the MCG, a bit different to the last couple of weeks, couldn't play at the MCG. Um... But, yeah, I, I think Melbourne will come away with the win against the Bombers at the MCG. 
So the next match, Giants versus Hawthorne at the MCG um, as well. Um, I'm going to actually go with Giant um, Hawthorne here. I think they've been a pretty good team past couple of weeks maybe. Like, they're getting better. And Giants drawing with North Melbourne, who have been not the greatest this year, um, may come in. And it's at the MCG. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I'm going for Hawthorne. So the next match, West Coast versus Bulldogs at Optus Stadium. I'm going to go over the Eagles here. Um, I think... It's at Optus. Eels will rarely lose here at Optus. Um, the one-point win against Richmond maybe makes it a bit closer, but I think they'll at least come away with the win against the Bulldogs by under at least 10 points. So the final match, Carlton vs Crows at Marvel Stadium. I am going to go with the Crows here. I think they have been... Uh, good team the this year a lot better than last year but i just kind of think they might come with, away with an upset in this match um against carlton who haven't been playing as well at marvel stadium uh, i mean just carlton haven't been playing as well even though it's at marvel i still think crows might come away with the win so guys that is it for my tips um but before we go, but before I end the video, I will show you what the ladder will look like if I get every tick from round 15 right. So let's get into that. So guys, this is what the ladder will look like if I get every single round 15 tip right. So guys, that's basically it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you like the video and like it as well so it gets recommended to more people on YouTube. Anyways, that's enough for you for today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.